Mass is important because most of the time colon cancer doesn't have any symptoms until it's in its final stages. We sat down with Dr. Lance Burns for more on the disease and screening guidelines. Most of the time, colon cancer has no symptoms at all. So once you do have symptoms, a lot of times the disease is, is actually at a higher stage. So what we ask patients to not be looking for symptoms is to go in and be, have a colonoscopy before their symptoms at, uh, at age 50. So how often and when should you first get screened? Uh, the first time is usually at 50 years old, and then depending if they find polyps or not, depends on the time of return for the next colonoscopy. If they find polyps, a lot of times it's three years. If there's no polyps and it's a clean screening exam, it's about five years. How can you mentally and physically prepare for going in and having a colonoscopy? The worst part is obviously the day before. The colonoscopy itself, you don't remember anything. You're under conscious sedation and it's actually, uh, most people when they're done the procedure say, when are you going to start? This is one of the few cancers that the death rate is actually decreasing because of early diagnosis and treatment. So I, I recommend to everyone that when they get the, near the age of 50, they do need to go get a screening colonoscopy because a colonoscopy is diagnostic. They can find the polyps, but also therapeutic. They can remove them before they become a cancer. The main risk factor is age, but colon cancer can also be hereditary. If you've had a family member diagnosed, doctors recommend screenings earlier than 50. For today's St. Vincent Corner Clinic Report, I'm Jancy Sheets.